Today I have 10 super fast meal ideas for families to keep you out of the drive through All of these ideas come together in about 10 minutes or less. I am trying something I have never tried before. I have this package of frozen bean and cheese burritos, and I am actually wrapping those individually in foil, and I am placing them into my slow cooker. And I'm going to pop the lid on and just let these heat up, because really, these are fully cooked. Everything in them is cooked. I just need to bring them up to temperature so that we can eat them. And by doing this now, when I have a little time, it will make this meal possible later on in the day. This is one of those nights when we're gonna be coming and going a lot from the house and everybody has a slightly different schedule and needs a different eating schedule. So I have jar salsa and queso, I have some sour cream, I have tortilla chips, and I also have plenty of veggies and salad fixings. So somebody can make their plate when they're good and ready. But also because these are very portable, if we need to just grab and go to eat these, like I probably will, I can just grab one from the crock pot and maybe a piece of fruit and have dinner on the go. And I realize that that's not ideal, but I'm gonna be honest with you, this is just a season of my life where occasionally we need to eat dinner on the go. This weekend is busy. We prioritize worship on Sunday mornings, but my kids also have a swim meet, and then my middle daughter also has her very last lacrosse game. And my husband and I have been doing some serious work calming our schedule, but we still have some of these weekends thrown in there from time to time. And this is going to make it possible for us to have an easy, cheap meal that we could all eat at different times and keep us out of the drive through on a busy night like tonight. Last night we had what I call Kenna's favorite sandwich. They're just Italian sandwiches. My younger daughter requests these all the time. And I make them using pepperoni, salami, ham, cheese, some lettuce and maybe some cucumbers on a big loaf of French bread and then just slice up the sandwiches and let everybody dress them however they want. Add some chips or some crackers and some fruit and we're good to go. I don't know how many times I've mentioned this. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you're probably really tired of me mentioning this specific little quick meal, but it's just a container of ready-made dip and some prepared chicken breast, like shredded chicken breast or rotisserie chicken that you've taken off the bone. You mix it together and you can put it on salads, on bread for sandwiches, wrap it up in tortillas, put it over leftover pasta or rice. I call it lazy lady chicken salad, <laughs> lazy lady chicken sandwiches. And of course you can play around with all of the different flavors of dips and you know, add different kinds of veggies and just sort of make it your own. But speaking of using dips as a shortcut, another thing that I've done is buy the dips that are in the frozen section. You know, sometimes they have spinach artichoke dip or I found a really delicious buffalo chicken dip at Target before and I can make a really delicious sauce by combining that with whatever veggies I may have on hand and maybe just a skosh of liquid like broth or water or even a splash of milk or cream. And then instead of using that with a pasta or with a rice which takes a little while to cook, I will often put in some potato gnocchi because gnocchi cook really quickly, usually in just like a handful of minutes and I'll just cook those right in the pot with the sauce and I'll have like a complete meal and those are ingredients that I can actually keep on hand because the frozen dips will last a little longer in the freezer than obviously the fresh ones do in the refrigerator. Gnocchi, you can buy it in a vacuum sealed shelf stable package so it's something that I can keep on hand and always have the ingredients for a quick meal. It is Saturday and I have already been to a lacrosse match this morning. McKenna had a fantastic lacrosse match to wrap up her season. My husband is at the pool with Brick at the aquatic center and he is on his way home and then I am heading to the aquatic center with Ruthie here in just a bit and I thought that I would uh, whip up just a really really quick lunch. I purchased some frozen veggie fried rice just from the freezer section at Walmart the other day and it is in the microwave as we speak. And I am finishing up sauteing some little chicken pieces in a little bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. I buy these chicken pieces in packages of half a pound and they're already cut up and it's such a great shortcut for days like today. I was inspired by a recipe from Seasons and Suppers. I will leave it linked in the description box below. Of course I'm making, you know, quite a few little changes to it, but you can check that out. My chicken pieces are almost done cooking, so I'm gonna add in a little sauce that I made from two tablespoons of soy sauce and two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, and then about a tablespoon each of honey and sesame oil, and about a teaspoon or so of chili garlic sauce. And I'm gonna add a cornstarch slurry of one tablespoon of cornstarch to three tablespoons of water. And I just wanna bring this up to a simmer and let it simmer until the sauce starts to thicken and the chicken is done cooking. It will probably only take a few more minutes. Mm. 
really good. This came together in about 10 minutes. And if I was making this for my whole family, I would double it. But there's only a few of us in the house right now, so I thought I'd just you know, make up something really quick for whoever's around and wants something to eat. And to be honest, for me, because a lot of times on days like today, when I'm going to and fro taking kids where they need to be, making sure that they're fed or that they have appropriate snacks and drinks, I often forget to eat something myself or I just don't get a chance to. So I'm ahead of the game for today with this for lunch, yum. It is Sunday and I just walked in the door from worship. And my older daughter and I, my oldest daughter and I, are about to head back out the door for a swim meet, for the rest of the swim meet for today. I am getting some baked potatoes ready for an easy dinner for tonight. Baked potatoes are not just a really great side dish. They are perfect vessels for lots of different things that can make them a complete meal. They're really great for using up leftovers, like leftover meats and also leftover soups, stews, and chilies, especially if they get kind of thick in the refrigerator overnight. They're also really great with beans, cheese, taco fixings, scrambled eggs. I like to have mine with a little bit of cottage cheese sometimes. There's a good you know, plant-based option, no meat on that. And because potatoes don't have to be refrigerated, I can just pop these into the oven right now, set the oven to a delay start to come on around four or five o'clock, and then the potatoes will be ready in time for dinner. And I can pull some things out of the refrigerator so everybody can make baked potatoes. And when my daughter and I walk in the door from an afternoon at the aquatic center at her swimming, Dinner will be ready and we'll have avoided the temptation to go through the drive-thru on our way home when we're tired and hungry. So I'm actually here in Walmart to pick up some chicken tenders for some really super fast crunchy chicken wraps that I'm going to be making tonight for dinner so I'll show you those in a minute. But the other thing you can do with chicken from the deli, either chicken tenders or like pulled chicken like a rotisserie chicken, is turn it into copycat KFC bowls. If you just get a couple of packages of instant mashed potatoes, a can of corn, some shredded cheese, maybe you could even get like a little package of gravy mix and make some gravy. You can make those copycat KFC bowls in just a few minutes by making up your mashed potatoes, putting the corn, chopping up the chicken tenders, putting those on top with the cheese. I mean, it would come together in certainly less than 10 minutes, maybe even less than that, and it would certainly cost a lot less than it would going through the drive through and getting five or six of those for your family. So you've probably heard of the shortcut where you take the frozen Texas toast and you turn it into little individual pizzas by topping them with cheese and pepperoni maybe other pizza style toppings and then putting them in the, the oven to just, you know, make like little personal size pizza toast. But they also make that frozen Texas toast with cheese already on it. <laughs> so you could even take that shortcut and not just do the pizzas, but lots of other different kinds of sandwiches. You can turn them into grilled cheese sandwiches. You can add, you know, like some of that fully cooked bacon that you just pop into the microwave. You could put tomatoes on it for like a tomato and grilled cheese sandwich. I just feel like there are lots of options for turning those little toasts into all kinds of different quick sandwiches or quick pizzas. Um, you know, the ideas are probably limitless. You can leave some of your ideas that pop into your head in the comments down below. Another really quick and kid-friendly option would be Frito chili pies. You could just buy some prepared chili like in a can. You could get some shredded cheese, a bag of corn chips. You might even be able to get like chopped onions and stuff already, you know, prepped in the produce department. I realize that it's not the healthiest option, but it would certainly be probably not that much worse than what most of us would get in a drive-through. And yes, I know it would be better if we could make the chili from scratch, but if it's just one of those kind of like emergency time budget meals that we need every once in a while, you know, I'm not gonna say that I haven't served my kids Frito chili pie occasionally. My kids are also huge fans of walking tacos and you can take the Frito chili pie concept and turn it into like a walking Frito chili pie if you were to buy the little individual bags of Fritos and then put the chili pie fixing in there so there's another option for you when I serve that kind of thing I usually just pop by the produce department and pick up a veggie tray maybe a bag of apples just to sort of round out the nutritional thing <laughs> It is Tuesday night and McKenna has an evening basketball game. So I need a quick and easy meal option for this evening and preferably one that might also be portable, like something we can eat on the way. So I'm going to make some crispy chicken wraps. I picked up four chicken tenders at the deli and I also grabbed some big tortilla wraps and a bagged salad kit. I like using the salad kits for this because everything I need to make the wraps is right in the kit, including the dressing, the cheese, and the 
seasonings. So I'll just chop up the chicken and toss it into the salad kit with all the other ingredients and then wrap that up in a tortilla. I also picked up some grapes and just some animal crackers and it'll be a really fast and pretty tasty evening meal. I just added up the cost of the ingredients that I purchased for this meal and it comes out to $23.85. Now I know that I can make a delicious meal for my family for less than that when I have time. You have seen me do it time and time again on this channel, but I gotta be honest with you, the last several times I've been through the drive through line over the past few months and I keep going less and less because of this, I've suffered a little bit of sticker shock. I think it's gotten pretty pricey. I mean, dollar menus are dead. It's like, there's, there's no more dollar menu. I don't think I can get out of even the most basic, like cheap, inexpensive, fast food place for less than $25 to feed my family. And I know that I can't get out of a quick service place like Panera or Chipotle, which would probably have a few more healthy options for less than $25. And for probably around the same amount of time I would spend in a drive through line, placing an order, paying for an order, waiting on an order to be prepared, I can run into the grocery store, grab these ingredients, and come home and have something prepped that is not only going to probably cost me less at this point in time, but also be a little little bit healthier than what I would probably choose if I were going through the drive-thru. Pick out one of these videos to watch next and I'll see you there.